afternoon guys <laughs> so yeah today's uh today's hike is uh gonna be a short one um unfortunately i couldn't do anything last week um and <laughs> so and this week yeah struggled a little bit for time i've got quite a few uh commitments uh the last couple of weeks so so yeah but with uh my ongoing schedule at the moment um, things are getting better and better and I should be able to make this uh, much more continuous basis. Um, I mean for sure, if you don't see me one week it'll be the following week. I mean this is what's been happening so far. Um, but I know that I'm just coming to a point near the end of this month. We're in April um, <laughs> 2021, which is in case it's being viewed, I don't know, in the future. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, coming towards the end of the month, and uh, I know that in May things are going to get a little bit easier, and I'll be able to, uh, yeah, to, to make this every Sunday as I've always intended it to be. And with time, uh, with the months going by, it will become uh, much more frequent. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I'll, I'll uh, further along on the route, I'll uh, tell you some of the plans that have been happening on uh, on social media and things like that. Um, and uh, anyway, so the plan for today, I'm not going to rumble on. The plan for today is basically I'm going to go to um, towards Spinola area, Slima, along the coast. I thought of going inland today, but actually I decided it's a really nice, beautiful day. It's warm. Um, and the other thing is, the other thing I want to do is which I'm going to now. I'm just making a slight diversion. I'm going to the area we've been to quite a few times. <laughs> um, you know, need a dog area, uh, chickens and all that. So I don't know if you remember, I think it was last, yeah, it was last episode. There was that area where it was kind of a pooey day and there was this field of flowers. I'm just gonna check that out um, just because I think, uh, uh, because it's a nice day, the sun's out, I think it would be a whole different experience, right, when the sun's out, like it always is. Different experience when the sun is out. And I just want to see those flowers uh, with the sun on them. Um, so that's why I'm heading um, a little bit out of my out of my way just to, to capture that. So yeah, so we'll be heading there first. So I'll check back in when I get there. And then, like I said, we'll be going towards Slima and a little bit on the coast and then back forth to near the Hilton Hotel, which is um, near the Cat Hotel. I just want to check out how the Cat Hotel is doing. If you go back a couple of episodes ago, we went there and yeah, it had been uh, it was under some sort of renovation or something like that. The tree had been cut down and everything. So um, so yeah, we were going to head back there just in case, see if it's back to how it was. It's worth the check out and we'll probably finish up there okay guys so uh see you guys in a bit yeah guys so yeah here we are with the flowers um yeah some of them have gone since the last time we were here uh but yeah i wanted to come there's a few butterflies uh going about there but yeah it's just beautiful just to see some sun <laughs> a little bit of sun on them uh it's just gorgeous just listen to the birds Beautiful and tranquil. Okay. So yeah, anyway guys, so basically now yeah, I've just come from this direction, which you guys know very well, I think, <laughs> if you watched the previous episodes. So basically now I'm continuing up here and then I'm backtracking all across along there uh, towards the coast. Towards the love statue, I will catch you guys up. Uh, there's a bridge actually, it's got quite a nice view from there. We'll catch up there, okay? So, see you guys in a bit.
I hope you can hear me here <laughs> um, with the mask on. I have to have the mask here. Behind me there's a nice church. I don't know if I can see that. Uh, yeah, kind of. Banana. So, yeah, so basically I'm now heading uh, back towards the Cat Hotel. I've, I kind of reached kind of halfway towards Lima. Um, and now I'm backtracking. Uh, to be honest, <laughs> well, here we are. Uh, this is the promenade and everything. Um, yeah, so anyway, funny story. <laughs> so, I, uh, as I was walking, uh, on my way actually, I'm now heading back, like I say. Hope you can hear me guys, because I've got this mask on. But, um, yeah, I was walking and I was, um, that moment I was messaging a friend. I uh, was messaging, um, you know, on a voice note or something like this. So, so anyway, anyway, I'll just put that like that. Um, so I had my, you know, like I'm doing now, I can have a mask like this kind of thing. Like that, probably. I think it was like that, maybe. Something like that. <laughs> and um, so anyway, I was just walking and then this woman, three women that were coming in the opposite direction. Uh, you know, semi-retired, kind of, like, and, um, anyway, as she walked past me, she barked, you know, like, when someone barks? <laughs> so, she barked, she went, she just barked, mask, like, mask on, or something like this, and, um, and it caught me by surprise, you know, like, when you're in the middle of a voice note, it made me jump, <coughs> it made me jump, and, um, and of course, I had to resend the voice note, you know? So, so of course, I told this woman to, uh, to kind of go away in quite a few languages. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, I only speak two languages, but it was of all my gods, you know? Like, <laughs> because, I don't know, uh, yeah, I mean, I like being in public and everything. I love people, I love me. I'm a people, um, but yeah, I mean, I'm wearing the mask, you know, when I'm in public, I, you know, and like I said, I'm walking along, you can see, I'm walking along the coastal area. It's all right, it's all good, but anyway, it is what it is. It is what it is. Some people just uh, want to bark orders to people, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not one for taking orders. <laughs> That's one thing. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, Banana, I've got no idea what I'm saying now. Um, ah, that was it. <laughs> so, of course, that leads me to, which you guys know already, I'm sure, but I kind of prefer to be in the countryside, if I'm totally honest, um, on a coastal area on the beach. Um, actually, I'm, this is too many people for me, even this. I mean, it's not too bad, but yeah, it's better to be on a, you know, hiking in the middle of a countryside, hiking along the coast, um, yeah. So definitely the next one, I've got to get out in the countryside. <laughs> and I thought that, like I said to you guys earlier at the beginning, I thought of going countryside today. Now I know why. <laughs> so sometimes in life, your first thought is the right one. Okay, anyway, so we're heading back towards uh, the Cat Hotel. Let's see if it's open, guys fingers crossed and then the plan is head to my beach have a little chat and uh, yeah we'll cut off from there okay see you guys in a bit
So here we are, the formerly known as Cat Hotel. Um, so yeah, just approach now. And this is what I'm greeted with, guys. So yeah, it's completely gone. <laughs> so yeah, what a shame. Like I say, I don't know if they are bringing it back or, but yeah, it's even worse than before. So yeah, of course that tree has been uh, pruned. Um, yeah, I mean, never say never. Like I say, I'm still, still optimistic it will be back, um, but I thought I would come and check uh, its progress, whether they are actually uh, bringing it back or not. So there we go. Okay guys, so plan is I'm gonna be heading now because I'm very close to my favorite spot and yeah, we'll have a sit down, have a little chat there, okay? <laughs> so I'll catch you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so we just arrived to my favorite, favorite spot. And yeah, so this is, um, well, you guys know very well, you've probably seen it on a couple of clips. Um, sorry about the sound, it's probably a bit wavy in the background, right? A bit wavy. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll show you how it is. Um, so yeah, there's my favorite swimming spot, the jacuzzi. Um, but yeah, it's a bit wavy today. You can see. But yeah, it's just nice to finish off here actually, and uh, as it always is for me. And um, oh, and yeah, just sit here, just listen to that glorious sound of the waves. And um, yeah, take my mask off if I'm totally honest. <laughs> take my mask off and be within like fresh air. Uh, nothing like it, right? Uh, which is now a uh, <laughs> become a something of a luxury is to breathe in fresh air. <laughs> anyway, so well, obviously tomorrow's full moon, uh, so that's why it's a bit wavy as well. Um, so I shoot sometimes, um, well most times really, but um, I've not been able to do the last two full moons, but really I come here as well when it's full moon, and basically uh, I'm hoping I'm able to show this correctly. When it's not so wavy you can see that the waves are going on, but obviously it's calmer generally, and basically I say at the very end, and Above me, you've got a really good uh, view of the full moon. Um, and it's dead quiet here at night. Uh, there might be a fisherman sometimes, uh, but it's dead quiet to come and um, enjoy the full moon. Uh, I love it. It's something, one of my rituals. And yeah, definitely, I, I don't know if you guys, but when it's near a full moon, I tend to get burning passion of energy you know like like I get I mean generally I'm <coughs> excuse me generally I'm pretty good with uh, getting stuff done as I you know as we all are you know in certain aspects but I noticed you know I, I noticed this probably about three or four years ago you know the connection with myself with the full moon and I always noticed just maybe a week or a few days before the full moon I would get this extra boost of like wanting to get stuff done and, and you, I just noticed whatever was happening in my life whether that was work or whatever I would get it you know I'd have that extra boost of adrenaline that would uh, make me want to do more and get things done effectively and I've got that right now and so that's um, which is lovely and when it happens 
I, I, I utilize it as much as I possibly can because it's like when you get that, get as much as you want done. All the stuff that you've been putting off and putting off, get it done, you know? But um, yeah, there's another thing I wanted to share with you guys as well. You know, I get I get asked as well a little bit from time to time, you know, you know, where do you live and um, uh, things like that of that nature, which is just general, you know, general question. I'm not criticizing at all the question. Uh, but, um, or, you know, what am I doing in Malta? You know, it's a very common, you know, what am I doing there? Or what brought me here? And really, I've got really no answer. I don't really, um, I mean, I tell the typical, I can either say I came here for a job, came here for the sun. Uh, but the reality is, I'm just here, you know? I'm here. I don't live, really, I don't consider I live anywhere. Um, I live... <laughs> You know, I just live. You know, but I don't actually make myself in a, in a feel very permanent. I never feel permanent anyway. Um, I might live somewhere for a long time. I might even live where I'm living now for the rest of my life. But I don't really tend to put any define. You know, try to uh, say oh, it has to be this way or uh, that I live here. I just, I'm just here. I am. I just am, I just live, you know? Uh, like I said, I'm not criticizing the question here at all. It's generally, it's normal for people to ask you, you know, what are you doing? Uh, what are you doing in Malta? Or all these aspects, or where do you live? Uh, I just, I'm just kind of just sharing how I am inside, how I feel, um, how I view living in general. Um, and that's how I view it. I just, I just am, and I and I feel at home generally within with anywhere. I suppose that comes down to when you truly feel at home within yourself, you actually live and and reside uh, as yourself, um, and you just are. You're not labelled anything. You're not labelled as living anywhere. You know, you just you just live. It's just um, that's kind of how I live my life. Um, <laughs> so anyway, guys been been awesome it's been a lovely little uh, I wouldn't call it a hike today it's been a little bit of a stroll down memory lane but it's been really nice and um, yeah like I say let's keep going get to that video 100 and um, yeah let's come like I say every Sunday will be but like I say I had a bit of a rough couple of weeks with commitments that I need to attend to and like I said, I'm not promising anything next week, but um, as soon as things are a little bit easier, it'll be guaranteed I'll be more and more uploading and showing you as much as possible of this beautiful island. And long term, um, with, well, hopefully, you know, with uh, travel becoming more and more uh, freer, hopefully within the next one to two years, I think. Um, I'll be able to show you uh, on a hike to many more beautiful places around the world. Anyway guys, I wish you an awesome week and yeah, send me a message anytime, add me on Facebook, uh, link I always put down in the description down below, or if you prefer Instagram, I'll also be linking that down below. And also if you're interested in joining the debate club, which we do um, generally on a Friday night when we can. If you're interested in joining the next live of the debate club, then just send me a message. And also, if you're looking to work on mindset, send me, reach out as well. We also have um, a good um, group that you can be part of, and it'd be awesome to see you. Anyway, guys, have a beautiful week, and see you soon.